hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking in a power plant pipes transporting superheated vapor are very common superheated vapor is flowing at a rate of 0.3 kg per second inside a pipe with 5 cm of diameter and 10 meter in length the pipe is located in a power plant at 20 degrees celsius and has a uniform pipe surface temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. If the temperature drop between the inlet and the exit of the pipe is 30 degrees Celsius and the specific heat of the vapor is 2190 joules per kilogram Kelvin, determine the heat transfer coefficient as a result of a convection between the pipe and the surface and the surrounding. So here the question is asking to find the heat transfer coefficient. That's the main question. And this is related to Q convection. And we know for Q convection, the equation is going to be HS delta T, right? So this is the equation we are going to use. But here, we don't know the Q dot. We have to find that one out. And then we, do we have, this is the question. So this is the one we are trying to find and area of the surface we can find it delta t is going to be surface minus surrounding surface is this one air temperature that's 20 degrees celsius and then surrounding is 20 degrees celsius surface is 100 degrees celsius so we have all this information and let's see how we can find q dot to find the q dot we can use this information that is heat transfer between pipe and the air heat transfer between pipe and the air is equal to heat lost by superheated vapor heat lost by super heated vapor right so here if we find the heat lost that's going to be equal to this one right so here we can use this equation q dot is equal to m dot cp delta t so this is the equation we are going to use we have m dot that is provided 0 0.3 kilograms per second 0 0.3 kilograms per second and then we have cp that's provided right here that's specific heat of the vapor that is provided by 2190 joules per kilogram kelvin right and delta t delta t is going to be the temperature difference that's already provided right here so here they are saying if the temperature temperature drop between the inlet and the exit pipe is 30 degrees Celsius. So this is going to be the delta T. So delta T is going to be this value. So if we plug that one right here too. So this is going to be multiplied by 30 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. And when we have temperature different, the it, it, for example, let's say we have 15 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. The difference is in degrees Celsius and Kelvin are going to be same because if you add 273, you will get the same difference. So we can write instead of 30 degrees Celsius, we can write 30 Kelvin too because we want the Kelvin to cancel, right? So this Kelvin, you, if you notice, this Kelvin and this Kelvin cancels and this kilogram and this kilogram cancels and we will get the final answer in joules per second and the answer is going to be if you calculate this one you will get 19,710 watts right so we have the q dot right now let's rearrange this equation we are trying to find h h is equal to q dot q dot over a delta t delta t is going to be t surface minus surrounding right 
So here Q dot we found out already we need the area surface area. Surface area of this uh, if we have a cylindrical shape, shape, cylindrical shape, the surface area is going to be this one. A s is equal to two phi r h, right? So here they have given the diameter, five centimeter diameter. So we can use this one as phi d, right? Two phi r h or phi d h, phi d l, h is same as the length. So phi d l. So this one we are going to use phi times diameter is given by five centimeters. That's, that's going to be five times ten to the power of minus two, and then the length is ten meter. It's already in meter, so we don't have to change anything. So this is going to be ten, and if you calculate this one, this is going to give you one point five seven one meter square. Now we have all the information to calculate the h value. Now let's go ahead and plug the values. Q dot we found out that's 1907 19710 watts it's same as joules per second right so watts or joules per second both will work and then area su surface area that is we found out right here that's 1.571 meter square times T surface surface temperature 100 degrees Celsius minus T surrounding that's 20 degrees Celsius so these are the value we are going to have this can be Kelvin or degree Celsius because difference can be both same for degree Celsius and Kelvin right and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 156.83 watts per meter square Kelvin and that's going to be the final answer I hope you guys like this video help. I, I hope you guys found this video helpful. See you next time.